Okay, welcome to um, this um, webinar uh, around 20 things you can do now for free to prove your business. Uh, I'm Sabine Mazzaro, I'm a business um, startup and growth strategist, and I help women entrepreneurs monetize um, their business and um, create a successful and sustainable online um, business as well. So um, this little webinar is going to have um, two speakers. So it's myself and Emma, who is a transformational and a mindset coach. And she will talk a little bit about a money mindset in times of uncertainty. So um, and she will actually do the first part. And then I will tell you about those 20 things that you can do now in terms of your business strategy that you can do right now to actually get ahead and, um, you know, and, and how you can actually um, now more more than ever you know there's the time to actually review and to revisit what you're doing right now in your business and how you can actually also gain an advantage because many people in this time of uncertainty may be stopping they're freezing they're paranoid um they might not work on their business for some sort of reason because they just don't know what to do and then they they're just feeling very anxious so hence i'm bringing in emma to help with that side of things to actually bring in the calm and bringing in that, that sort of positive mindset as well. So I'm going to um, hand over straight away to um, Emma and her talk is entitled Money Mindset in Uncertain Times. Okay, so you're on. Let me just unmute you. Okay. okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Great. Okay. Thank you, Sabine. Thank you for the introduction. So, yes, I am uh, Emma Gosling, transformation therapist, um, coach, and clinical hypnotherapist. And I specialize in helping uh, entrepreneurs earn more, work less by removing self sabotage, fear of failure, and feelings of not being good enough, um, which all stop them from aiming higher. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to go through um, the importance of understanding our limiting beliefs about money, why we need to shift those limiting beliefs right now uh, so we can keep money flowing and how we can do that, how we can make changes to those limiting beliefs um, so we can keep it flowing into our lives. So money is often a hot topic. Apparently, it's the thing that most couples argue about. Um, there was an advert last year in the UK by Lloyds Bank and it was all these families having a discussion but you didn't know what they were talking about because they were refusing to talk about the word money. No one wanted to mention the word money as if it was a taboo. So um, it is very much part of our lives and beliefs about money are formed when we are very young. And because when we're young, we don't have a filter, we don't have um, a critical or a rational mind to debate whether something is true or false or accurate. Uh, we, we just absorb all the information and that can start to be or become a, a blueprint uh, for our uh, belief systems, therefore our behaviors, therefore our actions and our results as adults. So what do I mean by limiting beliefs about money so a limiting belief is something that keeps you restricted or contained or unable to to see beyond uh, a certain way of thinking so with money i often hear people say that uh, people i work with I, i've had some of these beliefs myself that money is not for me it's for other people things like rich people are stingy, or if I have money, someone else has less money, uh, money is not spiritual, uh, money, we hear things like money doesn't grow on trees, we're not made of money, and all these things when heard by a young child, they are not questioned, they just go straight into the child's mind, and where do they come from? Mainly our caregivers, so our parents in most people's cases, and if our parents have uh, beliefs about money that are negative, 
the chances are that you also have those beliefs about money. And the thing with our belief system is that uh, our beliefs um, uh, are, are kind of behind lots of our actions. And so our actions create our results. So if you are struggling with money, if you've always struggled with money, then uh, it, it's the, the beliefs that are behind that are often the reason why uh, that struggle is there. So it's important to know this. It's important to know that our beliefs are coming from a sort of conditioning or a program, because if we don't know that's where our beliefs are coming from, then we don't have the opportunity to change them. And our beliefs are running on an autopilot. They're part of our subconscious programming and our subconscious programming, 95% of what we do, of our, beha our behaviors, our habits, our beliefs about ourselves are coming from the subconscious mind. So it's a huge amount of the capacity of our mind that is controlled, that is running on autopilot and we have no idea that it's there. We have no idea where it's coming from. We have no idea how it works. So I mentioned that the beliefs become a blueprint for our own beliefs and behaviors as we grow up. Uh, if money is not familiar, if wealth is not familiar, then because uh, the mind loves the familiar, familiar means safety to the mind. If money is not familiar, then unconsciously it will make us get rid of it. And a good example is uh, that it's estimated around 70% of lottery winners will end up getting rid of all their money, giving it away, spending it on things, left with nothing. And I believe that in the States, one of the biggest categories of people going bankrupt are also lottery winners. So if, if we're not used to having money, if money is not familiar, then we don't know how to handle it. We don't know how to use it to our own good, to our benefit. So right now, there's a lot of fear and anxiety around. It's a totally normal response. These are exceptional circumstances that we find ourselves in. And despite the, the sort of fear and anxiety, I, I do believe that there's always potential for opportunity if we are open to receiving it. It's, it's not a case of, oh, everything just needs to shut down and we, you know, we need to just stop looking for opportunity it's not fair if we do that um it's not uh, it's not ethical we 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 as business owners we 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 are we are helping people we are helping people to to release to release pain emotional physical spiritual pain whatever it is we're helping them to achieve something and so of course we should step up and 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 um take that opportunity to help people who are suffering our subconscious mind is always on the lookout for danger. It is a survival mechanism. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a bit like a, a little mini bodyguard, always scanning for danger, always scanning for negativity. And what happens is if we allow uh, anxiety and fear to, to rule us, to kind of take over, then it shrinks down our comfort zone. It, it shrinks down our, uh, our possibilities to succeed. And so this is actually what the mind loves. The mind loves to keep us playing small. It loves to keep us stuck. It loves to keep us uh, with the familiar, stable, consistent. And, and if the comfort zone is getting smaller and smaller, the less likely we are to step outside of there and the less likely we are to succeed. And the more negativity and fear that the mind sees, the more it keeps looking for it. So when the body is flooded with the fight or flight chemicals associated with fear and anxiety, we can shut down to opportunity. We have millions of bits of information at our disposal every single second. Our subconscious can, yes, I think it's about 20 million bits of information per second. That it can um, that it can register, and the the most most of what we we pick up and we perceive is a very very tiny amount of that uh, something in the in the thousands. And what I 
pick up and perceive will be different to what another person picks up and perceives. And that is often based on their, you know, what their belief system is, what they're used to, what they're familiar with, their, their upbringing, etc. So we shut down to opportunity in times of anxiety and fear. And even, even further than that, we can end up making riskier decisions because those fight or flight chemicals, they, they decenter us, they destabilize us. So if, fear, uh, if there's a fear around money, we might make unhealthy decisions with our money. So quickly purchasing something online that we see that we think that might help us. Um, I, I've, done, I've been there and I've done that thinking, oh, I, you know, I need money's not coming in what can help me and I've leapt I leapt into a two-year coaching program which cost thousands of pounds and I, I, I can say that it, it in some ways it was helpful but it certainly wasn't worth the money that I spent on it and so that that was it was a, a fairly costly mistake for me this was going back quite some years now so when we are when we are stable when we are balanced when we feel grounded and calm we are more able to see opportunity we are more able to make um, better and more empowering more beneficial decisions about what we're doing with our money so what else can we do we can use positive words to describe our financial situation most people we use the word debt mortgages a debt credit card debt uh, overdraft debt whatever and if you think about the connotation or the meaning behind the word debt it's quite a fear inducing word it's it's not really associated with um with positivity it's more associated with uh in some cases um desperation or um, uh, sort of neediness and if we change the word to something like investment because there is an investment if you if you um, take on a mentor or a coach and you and you pay money and you put it on a credit card if you if you label it as an investment then that helps your mind to feel less triggered by anxiety because the, the subconscious mind is essentially it's wired to keep us away from pain and negativity. It's its job, it's the bodyguard, it's trying to keep us safe all of the time. So when we change the language that we use, this begins to reassure the mind that we're not in danger. And so we're, we're, helping, we're helping ourselves to remain calmer, we're helping ourselves to remain more focused by simply changing the language that we're using if we're constantly saying something is a nightmare something's terrible something's dreadful this is alerting the mind to get you away from it as fast as possible so apart from changing the language uh, we can we can use uh, mantras so um, uh, something like uh, money loves me and it follows me wherever I go or the more money I have the more I can help others. So it can be a, something personalized to you. And rather than just saying the word, saying the words or the, or the mantra, it's important to embody those words. When you're saying them to yourself, walk tall, take a walk, feeling like you're a massive success and that money is following you around. Uh, dress for success when you go out. Uh, in, in essence, when you're when you're saying this mantra to yourself and you're feeling it in your body and you are uh, exuding that through your, through your energy and the way you're moving your body, you're rehearsing your mind for the moment that money is flowing more fully and you're making it more familiar. In a, essentially, you're, you're training your mind to believe that money is safe it's safety and that is what the mind wants it wants safety it wants calm it wants you know it it wants to know that you are safe so if 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 money beliefs have been repelling money from your life if you um 
if you are making uh, money and wealth familiar, then you're likely to attract more of it into your life. You can also, I mean, these, as I said, the exceptional circumstances, but it, training your mind to, um, to stay calm and focused, it takes, it takes practice. So try meditation. Guided meditations are brilliant. Hypnosis is a fantastic way of uh, ac accessing the subconscious mind and making more permanent changes to the subconscious programming that, that you have. Keeping your energy in a vibration of gratitude, even if you just manage this for 10 minutes a day when you go out on your, your, uh, your uh, allowed one walk or one bit of exercise a day. Um, each time you think of something, you know, each time you go out, look around you at the things that you're grateful for. Every time you spend money when you're buying something online, when you're going to the shops to buy your food, express gratitude and express, um, express feelings of excitement even. Think about the things that you want in your life and create the physical sensations in your body of joy and happiness when you think about those things. Again, you're rehearsing your mind to accept that money is safe uh, and that money is is joyful working on your mindset this is all mindset mindset is everything you can have all the tools and strategies for your business you can have all the systems you can have a team doing things for you but if you don't uh, assess look at the the subconscious programs that are running your behaviors um, then it's 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 going to slow you down so you can go further faster when you um start reprogramming the subconscious uh, pro, uh the subconscious conditioning that, that we all have as we as we transition from uh, children into adults uh getting support through mentors coaches uh, communities such as this one outsourcing because when we try to DIY everything, it creates overwhelm. And when we're overwhelmed, then the sabotage kicks in because the mind, it doesn't feel safe. So it will try to get you away from, um, it will try to distract you, try to get you away from uh, the, the, the things that are creating overwhelm, which to the mind is not safe. So then we procrastinate, we get distracted, we make excuses, we doubt ourselves, our self-care goes down, we start maybe heading for the snack drawer, not sleeping properly. So it is, it is important to, to get support. That would be one of my main takeaways. Taking responsibility for um, practicing and rehearsing and uh, yeah, being centered, being calm, however way that you can through meditation, through listening to hypnosis, through um, even, even having a conversation with a friend and just allowing yourself to offload, offload all the emotions that are keeping you stuck, all the fears and worries, it's better that they are offloaded than, than, than you keeping them inside and them affecting your, your body and your immune system, etc. So in conclusion, to attract more wealth, to keep money flowing, to be more successful you need to get good at taking risks to get the life that you want because if you stay in the small comfort zone that's where you're going to stay and success comes from stepping outside of the comfort zone it is totally true that that is where the magic is asking for support we are particularly women are conditioned to feel somewhat inadequate if we ask for help we're meant to know it all do it all have it all keep giving it all and it is very detrimental to our to our uh, to our mental health, to our emotional health. Um, so, asking for support, owning your worth, believing in yourself, believing in that what you have to offer others, the service that you provide, is valuable. It is worthy. It is needed by people. When you believe, when you really believe in what you have. Um, in service to others then it's very it's very compelling to people who who are looking to buy from you 
creating new habits. So creating a new habit, uh, having a morning routine, for example. Uh, we, we listened to someone the other day um, who was talking about morning routines that are brilliant because they set, your, set you up for the day. Making money and wealth familiar, really feeling it, visualizing it, feeling gratitude in your body is so important and committing to change, committing to changing the conditioning, the past conditioning, the, the subconscious programming, you have to commit no matter what if you want different results to what you're getting today. And, you know, this, this isn't this kind of mindset work. It isn't exclusive to a certain set of people. Anyone can do this if they if they make the commitment to themselves and if they have the knowledge of how to do it. Anyone can do it. People who are having success are not the ones trying to do it all by themselves. They are getting mentors, coaches, they are joining communities, they're collaborating, they're sharing. That for me is the way forward, in, especially in these times. Thank you very much for listening. Oh, brilliant, Emma. Really appreciate that. Um, some really You're great, welcome. yeah, some really great thoughts there around um, in collaborating. Yeah, not being alone in this time. I think just not going it alone in this time, and and yeah, and, and joining groups and um, and even having your own group. Perhaps you know, there's there's mm -hmm. a group of people that need you too. So absolutely. So thank you for that. So I'm moving over to my part. So I'm more of the strategist. I'm more of the um, the straight thinker in that sense, in terms of so what should the strategy be right now and. Um, let me tell you, it isn't um, business as usual. So we have to be very mindful around, you know, um, how others feel and think. But also, let's take a dose of what Emma was just saying in terms of people still need your service and they still will be um, happy to pay for that too. Okay. So here are my kind of 20 things that I've put together. The 20 things you can do to future proof your business now. Um, some, I mean, you may want to prioritize some of those, and it is just a bit of a brainstorm from my perspective as to what are the things you could be doing. But obviously, you want to do things that will actually put you on the front foot, and I will point out the ones that will definitely put you on the front foot as to when we're coming out of this. That if you don't do those, then you'll be definitely on the back foot, okay? And there's things we can tweak in our business, and of course, we want to. Um, review how we are doing business and maybe even look at our offerings. So there's, there's a few things that we can do. So, um, good. So let's start with, so the, 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 that's what I just kind of said is maybe we need to revisit our target client avatar. Perhaps people have moved on now. What are their thoughts, their feelings right now in this crisis? What do they need help with? So go back and, and revisit what that is and do a bit of brainstorm and, and go through what are their emotions, what are their problems, um, and what sort of solutions can you now at, like um, offer them in the light of, of this current environment. So that it may be that you need to adopt your, your offering a little bit, yeah? So again, yes, so revisit the problems and your message in order to do so. Um, you may even, as part of this exercise, create a, a client survey. So people may actually have time to go and do a bit of a survey. And of course, you may want to you know, put it out there in a way like, look, I understand times are really difficult right now. And hence, I'm looking at my, my offerings and how I can support my customers or, uh, best going forward. I would love to see what are the things that you're currently um, challenge, uh, finding challenging in these times and, and get their feedback, OK? Um, you can do things like, which we probably always forget, ask, <laughs> ask for testimonials from previous clients, because that will really help you in the future to say, look, I was able to help my previous clients with that, and this is the results that they got. And the way to best do this nowadays is actually to ask them. I ask my clients to go onto my um, business Facebook page and just leave me a review, because then I can just grab a screenshot, 
screenshots are much more powerful nowadays because kind of anyone could just write the testimonial and you copy and paste it. So if it's like a screenshot of a social media um, sort of post, that is much more credible nowadays. So grab, so ask them to do that. And likewise, you may need to give some testimonials to to others as well, right? That you you had services from and they've asked you and you forgot about it. So that's a good time to do that. Um, and of course, yeah, upload that social that um, those testimonials onto your social media or update your website accordingly. Update your social media profiles. So the thing is, I guess, with the social media profile is that um, we may not um, update our photos that often. Maybe it's time to just have a quick look at what kind of picture, what kind of profile pictures do I have on those different social media platforms? Are all of my about uh, sections filled in appropriately and do they actually reflect uh, the things that I am doing right now? Um, so you may just want to do a bit of a clear up around that. You want to definitely create some new social media content and especially in this current times, it's really great your thinking, your thought leadership and even maybe creating content for the future, it's really going to give you a massive um, win in, in terms of, uh, you know, feeding your, your potential clients with great value because let's face it, people actually need some content uh, it could be videos it could be written content it could be audios that you can actually prepare now that you can send out and that might actually lead into some freebies that i got that somewhere a bit later so write articles for social media blog posts maybe even seek out opportunities where people are looking for guest blogs um for guest podcast um you know you or you may want to start your own podcast or online tv show uh, whatever, right? So there's all forms of um, content that you can actually create and, and prepare now. And of course, update your content um, with, you know, the, the website on your own with your new content as well. Uh, create that new freebie. So from the content that you're creating, maybe there is a free freebie, a free thing you can give away that makes sense right now and that totally, totally connects with your clients in these times. And just give that away um, obviously you don't just give that away as like here's a pdf um, you want to create uh, like an, an email sequence that goes with the freebie so that means you want to have some sort of automation in your business um, uh, so you want to uh, create some sort of opt-in for that and so that you can continue to nurture those clients and then you want to invite people um, who need your help to get on a call so this may actually also include um, direct reach outs right so don't be shy and just say look I'm just checking in I just want to reach out and let you know I've created this freebie this whatever it is right i believe this may may be able to help you in in these times right now and then you could reach out and say hey you know hope you really enjoy this freebie um i'm offering a free call um to help you um whatever or breakthrough call you know love to see how i can serve you and and invite them to a call right you want to reconnect with friends um with friend friends like real friends as well right offline too like on a phone call or on a video call absolutely you want to do that because when your cup is full you can actually give and you will actually become more clear as to what you need to do now how do you need to step into the future and how, what's the leader you you're gonna want to be and can be you, have, you can step into that next level of yours and you can also touch base with previous clients you know on social media see how are you getting on you know is there anything that i can support you with i just created this amazing resource you know would you like 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 me to send it to you and you want to journal daily and listen to your ideas that's exactly what um emma was talking about in terms from a mindset perspective and i totally believe that when we actually do when we do just step back a little bit of course we want to do lots of things we want to sort of run through this time and we want to get out of it but then do you know what it's a time for reflection and it's also that time gives us the clarity when we we actually allow that time so and the other thing is as well that we we need to create a robust sales process because um for those that haven't been working online yet or have been loosely working online you know 
question is do you have something robust in place that you know where you don't have to be involved all the time where there's some sort of automation and the your potential client is actually going through a journey that really truly helps them to get to know you like you and trust you and so that you you can really showcase what you do and they actually want to come and talk to you and buy from you so this is a really good time to think about that um um, that journey as to what are the different touch points, what are the steps that I want to put in place for that. And you want to organize your tools and not even, not just your tools, maybe also your desktop, your files, and even in office files, you know, so there's a lot of things we can get organized about because the more we declutter, the more organized we are, the more clear we are when we know how we can move forward. Um, if we are confused minds and we're panicking, we're anxious, we're um, in, in sort of paranoid every day and, and we just sort of freeze and that's not a good stage. So if we can clear our minds and clear our environment, absolutely, you know, that's really going to help us forward. And for example, here I'm using Trello. Um, in, in my business for social media posts. Of course, there are um, other tools available, but Trello is a good one. It's a free one. And I can just um, schedule like week by week. I can do Monday to Friday and then just add all the text. And also um, I'm using canva.com for banner so i can actually also attach these banners so i don't have to sit there for hours and think oh my gosh what i'm going to post today on social media how am i going to serve my clients on a daily basis it's all there for you and you can actually also repurpose um that uh, and and trello is going to make it really really easy I also use Acuity scheduling for scheduling calls or now, right now I, I, I'm holding a lot of community calls. I'm doing webinars so actually people can easily book a seat and then they get emails um, sent to them on a regular basis to remind them and tell them where they can get the Zoom link to come and, and uh, join the calls as well. So that's a really good one too. Uh, yeah, I said organize your hard drive, label all content and see whether there's stuff there, you know, which you may have forgotten about. And it's like, all right, this is still relevant. Or you may have some new ideas and say, well, actually, based on what I've written like two years ago, I'm going to just tweak that because I have now new ideas that really fit the current landscape. And of course, you want to upload your Facebook live videos onto YouTube as well, because quite often we do amazing um, content uh, on Facebook, but we completely forget that we could actually download that. Or if you have used some sort of other video software, you um, produce a video and then you have it on your hard drive and it's not doing anything for you. So why not upload it to places like YouTube? And don't forget when you do upload it, make it public and add a description with a call to action. So the call to action may be something like grab your freebie here and there's a link okay so that video always always serves a purpose and you might want to update your membership site if you do have one or maybe you have stuff lying around on your desktop and you want to create a membership site so right now it's great to actually get a tool for that and sort of play around and learn how to actually utilize those tools as well and number 20 is definitely, definitely, if you have children at home or you, you know, you have other things that you need to do and, and you juggle work as well, plan your days and um, you know, prioritize according to your desired results. And quite often, um, we may be even more efficient if you have actually just a small time slot. And if you have allocated that time slot, you'll actually be, be producing much more in that time. So absolutely. And of course, number 21 will always be look after to yourself you know self-care is, is is very very important with everything it's wrapped around everything there's fantastic strategies that you can do but if you're not looking after yourself you know then obviously all of this is not going to be as effective we need to keep our minds happy we need to keep our bodies happy as well and then taking a line action and using some of these strategies that I've spoken about okay so these are my 20 um, now I just wanted to mention you, you probably maybe know one of these two situations. So you may need to create, you won't need to, yeah, right now you need to create an online business with digital programs so you can actually work from home and you can serve clients remotely. You may be in that situation where you say, oh my gosh, I've got to actually move my business online. It's the time now and uh, I don't know how to do that. 
or you are already online, but you're now thinking, oh my gosh, I actually don't have a sustainable system in place to create those continuous leads and sort of does some of that automation. I'm very much working from an ad hoc perspective and I am, I'm, I'm sort of uh, doing organic a lot and sort of reaching out and it takes a lot of time and energy and maybe you feel like you're reinventing yourself over and over. So it's probably, you say, probably one of those two camps. And you may feel a bit overwhelmed, that's absolutely normal because you have so many things that you could be doing right now. And perhaps you're thinking, I could really do with someone to guide me and keep me accountable and sort of really show me the, the ropes and show me the path to help me through these steps and through this time and make me come out even stronger after these uncertain times. And perhaps you're searching for a community that supports you where we come together and we give you that clarity and navigate you through these times. Help you eliminate fears and doubts. And of course, it's all about future-proofing your business. So you are definitely not, not gonna be on the back foot in the situation. And when we come out, obviously you wanna be ahead of the curve as well. So Emma and I actually came together and we were thinking about it and we said, look, I think together we are much stronger as two coaches because she's working with money and mindset and I'm working with business and strategy and all that. And coming together, I thought we could really put together this powerful six week bootcamp and we call it Future Proof Your Business. And we want to help uh, women in business create their business strategy and help them with their mindset because we absolutely recognize that especially in times, these times we may feel the fear, we may feel all this doubt and anxiety. Um, and this is the time where you may need that support to get through those things and that we all are gonna come out much stronger on the other end. The Future Proof Your Business is going to help you in six weeks only, right? Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's a very um, effective program and, and, and the, you know, about six weeks is, is not too long, but it's, it's, about, it's really about helping you to transform your business so that you can avoid, you know, maybe even losing your business in these times. You don't want to shut down your business um, because of this downturn. You actually want to thrive. And we will actually help you create that online business is the digital programs that you can work from home and you can actually service your clients remotely no matter in what industry you're at i've been working with so many um about 100 women even more 150 women over the last two two years to actually help them create their online programs and sell them successfully as well right and um of course if you already have an online business we will actually help you reposition your business to suit the current needs because obviously you may um want to rethink your messaging you may want to rethink about your targeting and adopt some of the things that like your your a program that you have right now and perhaps it's the missing piece that you want to a sustainable system and that's the one that's missing perhaps right to create those continuous leads um, which will actually get you more sales and more more customers in the long run so it's maybe more, one of these things may be missing your business right so and we know that this is a great time to acquire your skills and stay afloat and maximize your odds for success so what we will be doing is we'll actually include two weekly calls. One is about a business strategy workshop with myself and a Q&A. So it is very individualized as well. So it's not just about watching videos. Plus we will also have a mindset call with Emma every week. And I will navigate you through repositioning your services to suit the new customer landscape, create a signature program that will resonate and sell out create all digital assets, online programs, sales pages, and delivery methods. Like if you want to the membership site, we'll actually nav help you navigate through that too. And of course, if there's any branding and social media strategy, we'll, um, we'll give you that strategy and help you build an email list of targeted leads and a strategy to nurture the leads ongoing as well. And of course, you may want to turn them into customers. So my note, one note, this last note for me is obviously if you quarantine your business, um, then just do it in a way that is um, you still do your essentials and you will be selectively active. Because if you quarantine your business completely and you completely stop um, from moving forward because of the fear and anxiety and the doubts, you know, then 
you're going to be on the back foot and but you want what you want to do right now is you want to be calm you want to be assertive and you want to take those actions in that manner and maybe you want to do this in a group as well because it makes you more safe you can get feedback from a group as well and you know what it's about getting together as well so if nothing else just get together um, and and get that support groups because if you don't do that if you can't completely stop your business and um you know have your anxiety and doubts actually overtaken then for future three months from now you may be even further back you know you'll have less cash no program is ready no content created and you just don't have the momentum to stay in the business which is bad fact right what you can do now is obviously you can have a lower priced offer and and also we decided we're going to do this for a very very low price because we want to help more and more people out actually just get over those hurdles so the program the six-week program uh, that should say uh, 497 as a full payment or that should not say pound two times <laughs> so obviously you can have a payment plan here as well over two months at 247 so very affordable um, or you can also opt for a VIP for those that really want more help and want more individual support that can message us in messenger they will get uh individualized reviews on their copy on their landing pages and that will be 777 or two times 397. so here it is um if you want to have a look at um this brand new bootcamp future proof your business um you can enroll and have a look there or just um, message myself or emma if you wanted to know in detail what we're going to be teaching you but i think this is just giving you a really great um overview as to how you can now move on and if nothing else if you're not deciding to work with us then please please just take those 20 things and take those points that emma made earlier about um the money mindset because i believe we're all going to come out together much much stronger um, but we need to stay calm and we need to listen to our intuition and and support each other in this time so thank you very much and i look forward to um working with you um either way i will join our community um it's a facebook group actually we have created it's called future proof your business so you'll be able to to find us there so I look forward to that and um, we'll see you soon.